Is it over yet? Is 2020 over yet? Yes! We made it guys, hello, welcome back to the CFJ YouTube channel and we made it to 2021. New year, new me. <laughs> Don't you love it when people say that, but that is gonna be in fact true for the CFJ channel. We are gonna be smashing it this year on YouTube. We have got a lot of goals to be smashing and we got a lot of personal goals that I wanna smash as well. And I'm gonna bring you all along with it if you like it and I mean, hopefully you like it because if you like it, then you can come back. If you don't like it, then you won't come back and then you won't have to deal with it. But don't, please stay, please, <laughs> yeah. So New Year's revolutions, have you got any? Let me know if you have set any for yourself this year. Uh, me for one, I've got a few that I wanna be smashing. As I already said in my previous video, I've never actually stuck to one. So maybe this year, I will, because that'll be bloody brilliant. As you can already tell, I'm, I'm stepping up on the quality. Got myself a new camera, 4K, decent mic. So hopefully I should sound good and I should look good. But bear us in mind, it's making me look better than I do. I am a catfish when it comes to the camera. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna get into the first goal. And the first goal is I'm gonna smash it on YouTube. That's the plan anyway. That is a goal of mine. I'm gonna set targets. I'm gonna go through the year. And by the end of the year, I want to at least have 500 subscribers. It'd be pretty mad if we can get a thousand. That would be crazy. But yeah, so my goal is to have minimum 500 and then anything above, really, I was going to say maximum, but anything above would be absolutely amazing. So if you do enjoy the content over the next couple, for God knows how long in the future, please hit the subscribe button. I'll, I'll really enjoy it. So yeah. Cheers. Also, a more serious journey that I'm going to be going through and I'm going to be documenting it. The whole journey will be on YouTube. You'll be coming along with me. It's my funnest moments and the hardest moments. And that is going to be a weight loss journey. A lot of people are like, oh, here we go. Weight loss, weight loss. Everybody wants to lose weight. Yeah, but it's about time I at least did something about it. Throughout my years, I was always slightly broader kid, teenager, but I was always healthy. I was always fit. That was because I used to be a street dancer. I used to train practically every single night. I used to do, I used to teach Mondays. I used to train Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I used to bloody smash it. It used to be the funnest time of my life. And since stopping dancing when I was about 18, 19, I moved to the more music side of it. And yeah, as you can tell, I didn't do absolutely any kind of fitness after that. So from 18, 19, all I was doing was putting on weight to the point where I am now. You can't really see because I'm wearing black and black, but I will take some pictures and I'll post them to the side of me, on top of me, whatever. And I am 21 stone and six pounds currently now. I'm 21 years old. That shouldn't be okay. <laughs> I weighed myself a couple of weeks ago. I'm probably heavier now over Christmas and New Year because we all love chocolate and sweets and food. <laughs> yeah, we all definitely love, I, lo I love food. <laughs> this journey I'm gonna be going through, I'm gonna be documenting all of it. I'm gonna be filming most, if not all of it as well. I've got myself a bike. I just got a Christmas present from a girlfriend, a boxing bag. So I'll be doing a lot of boxing training. I will probably be releasing a video once a week about the weight loss journey. I want to keep you guys up to date. There might be a few more in a week. There might be once every two weeks at some point. It really depends on how much training I do to how much filming I film. <laughs> this is mostly for me. I want to get it out there. I want to motivate myself, possibly even make other people have that little boost that they need in their life to do something, get up, go training, just anything. But I'm recording it mostly for me. I want to get it out there, but I want to keep you guys entertain i want to get you guys motivated if i can help anyone at least one person do something then i feel like i've succeeded in my mission trying to help you guys it's gonna be a long journey my first goal with it is i want to lose the weight i want to drop as much fat as i can first before i start trying to bulk up and tone myself up and get the muscles that i want i don't really know what i've said to be fair <laughs> anymore so the eating aspect of this is going to be very 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 difficult to me if you know me you know that my diet is terrible i eat pizzas sausages chips cheesy chips burgers that's basically pretty much what i eat i don't eat anything healthy i eat peas does that count as healthy uh, a lot of people are like oh why don't you just try new food why don't you just have this you've got all these fruits and veg yeah i might have I, 
I don't like them. Uh, I don't, I haven't tried most of them. What a lot of people don't know about me is I have a sort of eating disorder uh, where it comes to food I don't want or I don't like when it's put in front of me or I want to try it and then it, it comes to the time of me actually trying it. I just kind of block myself off. I get really anxious about myself. It's a bit like an anxiety kind of takeover of my body. I just, when it's there, I don't want to try it. Very annoying, I'm 21 years old. Every time I'm like, I want to try this. I'm like, yeah, I'll have that steak. As soon as the steak's in front of me, I don't want to eat it. I turn off, I don't speak to anyone because I do not want it. I, I've been doctors about this. Nothing's really helped me, so. um. If anyone knows anything or anyone that might be possibly be able to talk to me or <laughs> help me out with this kind of disorder that I've got, um, let me know because that would really be great. I would love to eat food and go to a restaurant and not order a burger and chips and actually order like a steak or something or maybe a Chinese. I've never had a Chinese and never had an Indian. I know a lot of people are like, what? He's never had a Chinese or an Indian. Yeah, it's because I haven't tried it. And I think a lot of it to play is textures. I don't like textures in my mouth. I think of the textures and I'm like, that ain't gonna taste nice. Why do you wanna eat that? I've been abroad with my girlfriend and her family. I've been UK when it was bloody heat waves and not once did I want to take my top off uh, as I'm super insecure about the way I look. And that's another reason why I would like to do this weight loss journey. It's another reason why I want to push myself because I want to be comfortable with myself. I want to be comfortable as a human. And by 2021 summer, I want to be chilling at a mate's house with a barbecue, with a beer, with my top off, enjoying life. Of course, if COVID isn't still messing with us then, obviously then I'll be sitting in my own garden with my own barbecue. Just crying. <laughs> so if you do want to join me with my weight loss journey, with the journey to 500 subscribers to possibly more, maybe a K, should we push it to a K? I don't know, maybe 1,000 subscribers? I don't know. If you do want to stick with me with this journey, with all the journeys going on, please give the channel a subscribe. I'll have lots of other content going up as well. Content that I know for a fact I want to be doing. Anyway, happy new year, happy 2021, and I'll see you very, very, very soon.